All right, we're going to play the SGDQ relay race levels. All of them but one, from what I understand, are still up. And I have the portal one downloaded, so we should be good on that. Do I have any idea how the portal level works? No, but we're going to play it. Jank Pickle made this level chat. This was the first. I think we're, we'll try and play these in order. I thought this was a cool level. Um, it definitely had some jank in it, though. And I was also a little worried uh, after this one that... The levels might have been too hard. Oh my god, I haven't played Mario Maker in so long. Yeah, they were tough. They were definitely tough. The timing and score kind of went perfect. Yeah, the, the teams ended up being super even. It, it is a lot easier now that I, I watch them play these levels. Although I got to say the portal level, I have no idea how it worked. Um, we'll save that for last, the portal level, because the portal level is just wild. Oh, yeah, that was, that's part, that part's awkward. The fact that you can see another team's screen, I feel like is like of the utmost importance, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's like one of the biggest things you want to do. It's kind of the number one reason to put trolls and also the reason why a lot of these levels have like multiple trolls. So the team that gets the first troll doesn't get fucked because then they get to watch the second troll happen. Oh, the first Mario Maker Relay they did, they just did a bunch of levels in a row, right? And it was not that close. It was cool, but it wasn't close. And then after that, I did one at Calithon, and I came up with the format that we use, still use today in love. Um, and it's just, the whole purpose of it is just to keep it artificially close, you know? Yeah, the whole purpose of that is literally just to keep it artificially close. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a way to blue shell it in Mario Maker. Um... Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that one was cool. That one was actually my favorite one. I thought Blindfolded Breath of the Wild was definitely probably the the my favorite run. Like even a run that you know, even not going as perfect as the runner probably wanted, I thought it was incredible. I wonder if you could have cheese that somehow. You know? Could they have... I'm just seeing, yeah. You really appreciated them hitting, waiting to the donations to hit 2 million? Uh, I'm actually gonna give a decently hot take on that. Um... I... don't think they should... I think they should have just had my run go and just kind of... Like, just went ahead and run and then slided it in whenever the two million went. Because, A, keep it moving, but B, I feel like you gotta make people think that it's not gonna happen. I offered that too. I was I was like, yo, I'll totally run Baron and then we can run Breath of the Wild after Baron and then I'll come back for Fly Me. Was I trying to buy myself a little bit more practice time? Yes. Phasmophobic Foot Race by Naboos. Oh, this was the cool Yoshi level. Yeah, this one was really cool. Well, then I got to do a, a really long interview though, so it was fine for me. I liked it. Yeah, I really liked this level a lot, actually. And not just because it's... Yoshi Death, but yeah. I have the portal level downloaded. Yeah, it's not up, but the creator put it up for me to download. Oh, 
Oh, this level's cool. Oh, damn it. I know I knew, I knew the ending and I still screwed it up. I'm really lucky because usually I usually when I fly out of places, like I almost booked a um 5 a.m. flight out, but instead I booked a 3 a.m. flight. Um when I saw the schedule, because my run was at 10, I was like, alright, I can do that and just literally just hop on and get out. Uh, but I wanted to give myself some time to hang out with friends because I didn't think I would get to really hang out with anyone the first night. So, yeah, it ended up working out good. Producing live events is tough. Yeah. Oh, it's very hard. Oh. Pfft. Oh, come on, get off Yoshi, man. There we go. Get off of it. Oh, I had a good time. I, I, that was my favorite GDQ interview I've ever done, just because, like, we didn't talk about my run. We just talked about speed running and like, I don't know. I thought it was really fun. Like, you don't even, I, you shouldn't even need a run to get the interview. Oh no! Yeah, just have the funnies. Okay. Overall, though, like, it definitely, um, like, I think you all saw, like, it, it wasn't, I wasn't the most excited I've ever been for a trip, and I was completely wrong. I had just a, a, a blast, a really great time. That was a cute ending. These Kaizo blocks were really, really, really good. Oh, wait, I don't remember what the fuck this was. What is this shit? Oh, that's just killing a Yoshi or saving the Yoshi? <laughs> I don't even remember that part. Oh, they didn't get there? That makes sense. That makes sense, I don't remember that part. If every Mario Maker level went through <laughs> rigorous months of reworking and testing, <laughs> like the GDQ levels did, this would be a really popular game. I feel like this level is one of those ones where you were watching it and you were like, stop being so dumb, racers. But, like, as someone who plays this game, like, my mind would not be able to work with that. Oops, I already fucked it up. Yeah, I wish Mario Maker would have been more like, like in general, with the oh, with the updates would have been more like once a week we got a new item instead of here's three updates with a ton of items. Yeah, this level's super cute though. I don't know how this works. Can we have an epic reading of an erotic novel? I don't know. Oh, that's not how I wanted to do that. <laughs> Kaizo Coliseum and Holiday Special. They're definitely my focus the rest of the year. Sorry, unnamed, unnamed Mario MMC. Second coming event. <laughs> no, I always... That's what I do. Now, would there have been a way to, like... I wonder if there would have been a way to cheese this. No. 
that's not what I wanted to do. I have no idea how this works. Oh, I know what I do wrong. I don't have, like, an event scheduled for the year. I should make one. That would be... Way smarter. Um... Oh, I'm too slow. Shit. Oh, uh, what's going on, real bitchin? Y'all, that's my new best friend. I feel like every GDQ I make a new best friend, and he, he was mine this year. My number one Mario drinking buddy now. Uh, no wait. I fucked up, didn't I? Yep. Wait, can I do this then? Yeah, that doesn't work. Shit. Were you a bidet man for a while? I don't think you get a bidet and then get off the bidet. I think once you get a bidet, you're a bidet person. I've never heard anyone go, oh, I didn't like having such an incredibly clean ass. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. Shit! <laughs> you can't give them shit anymore for that. I don't know why, but the timing seems so awkward there. Oh, I didn't think I made that. Kickstarter win for travel bidet? I mean, that's just, just a spray bottle, dude. so I can go back here. This is a, this is low key like a really cute boss fight. I think I'm screwed. Yeah. Was this one a draw? No, I thought they finished this one. I could I could be wrong though. Oh yeah, because then Aura went underneath that. Where if you would have gotten this, which actually I really, really love this. If you would have gotten this, you would have had to do this. Oh, wow. Cold-blooded. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, wow. I mean, that would have been a big time waster if that would have happened. I would have loved if that would have happened. That would have been amazing. Super Sonic Racing. Gotta go fast. More like gotta dash quick. Ah, oh, GDQ, get it? Oh. <laughs> this level's a pain in the dick. This level's so silly. Yeah. <laughs> ah. No! <laughs> this level's ridiculous. I was gonna get them... Okay, so we went to Target to get jerseys for them, and I was going to get them... Dead celebrities. They were all gonna be dead celebrities. It was like Selena, Tupac. Cause I had a print, I was wearing a print shirt for mine. So I figured that would work, right? But then I was like, man, Aura needs a collared shirt. You know, like Aura always wears a collared shirt, so. Aaliyah, yeah, there was an Aaliyah one. There was an Aaliyah one. And I really like Aaliyah, but I didn't figure anyone on my team would have known. There we go. Whoops. You don't think people understood the yes chef? Oh, that 
I, okay, so, yeah, I don't think people understood that Yes Chef is from a TV show. Like, I'm not saying it wasn't a GDQ meme, but it's definitely from a TV show, and I don't think people understood when I made that reference at all. No, it's from this show called The Bear. Um, it's a really good show. Yeah, but the bear, they say, like, that's like every line in the bear. Yeah, it's got the dude from Shameless who's basically playing himself again. Made it the bear reference before his run. Adef, oh, I know Adef knew. I know Adef knew, but the, re <laughs> like, GDQ just went with it. But, I mean, that's kind of the beauty of the meme, you know what I mean? It's the beauty of every meme. Oh, whoops. You think Mario Maker should be three deaths? Um, I disagree because I think watching them switch is really funny. That was fun. You know a lot of people that thought Yes Chef was the worst part of GDQ this year? Can I tell you a secret? Every year, no matter what it is, someone thinks the meme of GDQ is horrible. No matter what meme it is. They thought the wow was horrible. They're gonna, you know what I mean? It's okay. They, there's no way to actually get there. Yeah. Quacking. Goo Bud wants to be a racer too. I, I'm surprised they haven't deleted this level yet. Whoop. The only thing I didn't like about this level um, that I'll say is I think it wasn't plainly obvious to anyone that this was an escort until we got to the end because this first one wasn't an escort. Right? Yeah, I think that's the other problem is that this level had a lot of like, you mess up but you don't die. You just have to like pass the controller or whatever which I don't like that was you know like that spots not plain painfully obvious what you're doing right there yeah did this end up being a no this one ended up being a draw right well and then that guy like you and then and then he's off screen so then that little goon buddy right there is off screen so you don't know what you're doing I I don't think this is a bad level. I think this is just one of those ones where it kind of gets away from, kind of got away from everyone probably because they're playing it over and over again. You know what I mean? And also, it's not a bad to have one or two draws. It really doesn't matter. That's a hard jump right there. That's actually a really, really fucking hard jump. And that, like, it feels like you're supposed to do that for that one. Yeah. Yeah, and then the last section, I feel like, I feel like I remember watching the last section having no clue what to do. This section, too, I didn't really have a, I didn't really know what was going on. You know what I'll say? I remember watching this one more than I remember some of the other ones. Like, I remember this one more than the gauntlet levels. There we go. Did people get banned from GDQ for calling Oro bald this year? I mean, I called him bald. So I hope not. Spec racing is not cheap. Yeah, spec racing is not cheap. Yeah. 
In some ways, spec racing can be more expensive, you know? I think, um... Lemons is as close as I'll ever get to a real car. Yeah, I have no idea what to do on this part. Not to mention, uh, you know... Trailers... Everything else? Is that it? That didn't seem right. Oh man, that wasn't even a checkpoint? That can't be right. There's gotta be something going on there. this shit. Oh, I think I get what I need to do now, chat. Hold on. <laughs> Build my own track. I love you all. Why? Come back here. I need you. Come here. Come down here. Come here, buddy. This is what I want to do. I see. I really appreciate you guys motivating me to try something that I would probably really enjoy, but... Uh, Supernova, what does the GDQ wonder eat before the race? Nothing, they fast. That's actually pretty good. Um, I actually really liked this level too. I thought this level was really cute. Um, the only thing I would say that like I didn't like about this level would been was that like there wasn't like a way to like skip this room after you had already done it. Does that make sense? But I thought this was a really cute level. Yeah, like an infinite CP where, you know, like each time a team, like the teams had to, like the team that got stuck on this part lost this level just because they were, they couldn't get back ahead because it, they were so far behind because they had to keep doing, like now I have to go back and do these if it was a red coin level. But otherwise I really like this level. Didn't someone just not make that, like, jump into the door at some point? Didn't someone just miss that door jump? Oh, shit. Okay, you gotta get both. Who would I want to play me in a movie? Um, someone better looking than I am in real life. Bruce Willis? He's like 30 years older than me, you dick. Yeah, can I get Michael B. J I mean, I, I want Michael B. Jordan to play me. I know it really wouldn't be accurate, but I want Michael B. Jordan. Wait, do I have a funky face? And just I've been going through life thinking I don't have a funky face? Is that what y'all are saying right now? I want to get Michael B. Jordan, but... There's that big problem. There's that one big problem. Also, a lot of my a lot of my growing up. Oh shit. Okay, I remember what to do here. Yeah, there's also the big problem that a lot of the parts of me growing up is the fact that I was a Caucasian kid in a black family. So having Michael B. Jordan play me would also make those parts of the movie, really, really weird. No! 
Oh, this level got finished, didn't it? This was like right at eight minutes. I felt like this level got finished. Because Panga Tank... This part's wonky! Why is this part so hard to me? No, too much Mario World. I'm bad at Mario Maker now. So this is how it's supposed to go. And then just like that. <laughs> but Panga got it the second one early. <laughs> yeah, because Panga just got it out. The document level. This one I thought, probably because it's proximity to the portal level, did not get the love that it may have should have. The concept is cool, but then the way he fucking used it. Yeah, the way he used it I thought was just like so like chef's kiss, yeah. And also the way he like teaches you right here. Oh, this one is cool, yeah. Oh, whoops. That's how you do it. Oh, and then I have to throw it up, yep. Yeah, this level's so cool. I thought it was really cute. I thought this section was just utterly ridiculously adorable. And then this was great, like this right there. So cool. Like, just like a wonderful way to end it, like end that section, I thought that was great. Yeah, I really, really, really liked this level. Whoops. They saw a video with it. Is, I remember that, is where they got the idea for it. And then the th just throwing it off, just yeeting it. Yeah, this section is really, really, really good. Uh, who won the Mario Maker 2 race? Um, uh, not my team. And then this one. Yeah, this one, I totally get the confusion right here. Oh, bitch. No, it's not the Yoshi that's the object, it's like swallowing the Yoshi. That's causing it. Or sorry, swallowing these things. That's what I wanted to do. Oh. Okay, okay, and then we, okay, I see what I need to do. Yeah, the fact that the players were getting this, like, live, is really, really, really impressive. Because this one is, like, kind of like, Melting your brain as far as what you know how to play Super Mario Maker, you know? Shit. Yeah, it rewires your brain. I would definitely say like this year's levels were the hardest they put in a Mario Maker race. Okay, that didn't work. Mr. Baron of Shell, this level's hard, one shots it. 
I know. There's some of the levels I should have died more, so they actually knew it was hard. I think they thought I was joking on some of them. That was just such an interesting thing that just happened. I don't know if y'all saw that. Yeah, she played really, really well. I mean, everyone played really, really, really well. This right now, chat, is the time. All right. I feel bad for Donkey Mint because his level was so incredibly good. But like, once I saw this, it's like everyone like forgot about it. You know what I mean? Portal 2. And like, I've seen this like glitch before a couple times, but like, I've never seen it used in like a level like this. And like, it's just so good. Oh wow, that fucks with the camera more than I realized. This level could have been a showcase on its own. I mean, it just blew minds. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. The camera like is so jerky. Yeah, the camera's so jerky. <laughs> how does this work? I don't know. You'll have to ask creators how this works, chat. I haven't made a level in this game in a long time. That is so cool. And then those two shoot out the same pipe, which I think is kind of interesting too. Also, this just makes me wish I had, we had like pipes that could just go on the same screen. You know what I mean? You do in doors. Yeah, but that's not instant. That takes the, doors take the flow out of everything. Like, how did any of that work? I think that's the beauty of it, too. It's like, this is a level where you you just kind of got to put your, like, almost like blind trust into the creator here. And just kind of, like, have faith in, in the creator. And it keeps your spin jump, which I think is so cute. I'm gonna make a whole YouTube video about just this level. Oh. Wait, why didn't that work? You know what? I did slay that bear. Run. I really did fucking do really good. That was, that was I, I really think that was my best live run I've ever done. Oh, okay. All right, I see. Such a cool fucking level. This section's so good. Yeah, I thought this section was so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I remember. Why that's such a weird section to me. This section's so good. And then the final fall. The final fall is so good in this. Oh yeah, yeah, and then you spin jump on that. Oh God, it's so good. Why did my levels get deleted? I, uh, I used to hook up with uh, like this guy that works at Nintendo. I used to hook up with his girlfriend in college and he's just bitter about it and he holds the keys to it. Deleting levels on there. I, that's the only logical reason I can come up with. Alright. 
Wait, where's the spring? Where's the spring? Where's the spring? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I see what I was doing wrong. Okay. SGDQ 2023. Ready. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. This part was so weird. <laughs> I totally forgot about that part. That part was so cool. That was such a cool section. I don't know how this works either. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Oh, I guess I do know how that works. <laughs> the single coolest shell jump in all of Mario Maker right there. That was the hypest part of the race. To one shot to make the comeback was so fucking cool. Now these are the gauntlet levels. Yeah, here's we went to the final five levels. I wish there was a way we could have just made this into one big level. These final five, you know? Played a lots of Polybridge 3, yeah. Oh, this is the co-op level. Oh, shit. Wait. Your... You know... This... Is... Co-op. <laughs> no, I, I, I forgot. I forgot. My bad. My bad. That was my fault. All right, so here is the start of the five uh, end levels. I don't think that's what I wanted to do. Wait, is that what I'm gonna do? Oh, I see. Oh, this is cute. This is a Sonic song, right? Oh, I see where I need to go. Oh, I need to throw that. Chugs, the wrestler. He's a wrestler, right? And he did a skit when he was leaving Ring of Honor that he drank a glass of Monster and Kenny Omega had poisoned, poisoned the cup of Monster and killed him in storyline, right? And so then he was a ghost in that storyline why he was signed with WWE. He was a ghost. Yeah. That one is cute. That was like a classic level. Like if I was gonna make a level, I would have made a shittier version of that. This level is groundbreaking. It would have been a speedrun level without any music. Whoops. Yeah, I was actually surprised that Buddy level is still up. Oh, and then it would do it again. Okay. Ah! The rage. Oh. Just go over it, man. The only thing that I didn't like about that level, the cake was a lie. But up, um, um. No! Why is this spot like weird?
I kind of like that the, I will say the gauntlet levels, I like feel different than the other levels. The other levels felt very high gimmicked, whereas these gauntlet levels definitely feel more like kind of simple, you know, stuff we've seen before and kind of had them bang out more. I think that was actually really good planning. It was good pacing, yeah. I think it had really good pacing. 